Well, welcome everybody to the Wow Makers Wednesday System Training. For those of you who do not know who I am, I am Brenda Sanchez and my husband and I, Michael Sanchez, um, are the co-founders of Life's Real Currency and we are the best-selling authors of the book, Life's Real Currency, and we are founding members of Banner Season and we bring you these trainings every single Wednesday. And if I can't be on, I will tap one of my uh, cohorts on this um, Zoom that will do the training for me. Like, I know that I'm gonna be gone on a cruise the first week in March. So I will be having somebody else do the training that week. Um, and I'm looking right at her probably. Hopefully she says yes. <laughs> um, but today I, um, I'm gonna share my screen and today I actually wanted to talk about how to, oops, let me get my control panel out of the way so that I can actually see what I'm doing. So you should be able to see my screen and before I get started, I am going to mute everybody just so that we don't have background noise. Okay, and I will unmute you at the end where you can ask questions. So you should all be able to see my screen. Kathy, can you give me a, a nod if you can see my screen? Awesome. So today I wanted to talk about how to send a card and how to send a gift with that card. We've talked about text to mailbox, we've talked about campaigns, but how do we do a personalized card and gift? And last night I purchased a new vehicle, and so I wanna send a card to the dealership that I bought that car from. So I'm gonna scroll down here to create a card. And once I click create a card, I have lots of different options. I have the five by seven greeting card. I can do a five by seven greeting card with a custom envelope. I can do a pearl five by seven flat card. So that's kind of got a pearl finish. It has a texture to it. We have our gigagrams, which are really big eight by 11 cards. And then if you scroll down, you can get to our postcards. But I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna select the five by seven greeting card. Now, starting with a template means you're gonna start with a design from our design store. So I'm gonna click on here first. That's not what I'm gonna to do today, but I wanna explain each one of these three buttons. So when you click on start with a template, you're gonna see all these designs that our graphic designers from across the US have built and you can see they're very low cost. If you're looking for the designs that are no cost, you can come right over here on the left-hand side and show free designs only. And you'll see that there's still a ton of free designs. Anything that I've already purchased, you'll see says already purchased, but right down here in the bottom right, you see it's set for 12 right now. I always change it to 144 so that I can see pretty much everything or a whole bunch of cards um, at one time. So once I scroll past, you can see I'm a big fan of the design store, already purchased. If you come <laughs> down here, you can now see this one right here, Merry and Bright, is free. Here's another one, Peace on Earth. Those are all holiday cards. Here's one, Got a Minute. That's a free one. So there is no cost for that to add it into your account. So if I click on this, I can either add it to the favorites or I can go over here and say, Add to your account, and then just add to the account. And now that card is in my account and I can use it as often as I want to. Of course, my internet is just a little bit slow, so it's taken just a minute to add that. There we go. So now I own a license for this product. You'll see that on the right. And down here at the bottom, you'll see either add to cart 
And with this one, there is nothing on the inside. A lot of the cards already have the message on the inside in a back design, and you can just say add to cart. But I would say in this case, because there's nothing on the inside, I would say edit design. But that's not what I'm gonna send today. So I'm gonna go back to the main menu. And if you click on banner season in the top left-hand corner, it takes you back to the main screen. I'm gonna hit create card. And now this time I'm gonna say start from scratch. This is where you can start with a blank sheet of paper and be able to design whatever you want. Or there are some what I would call photo drop because it's already designed and you can drop a photo in so that love hugs and kisses. You just drop a photo on and the rest of the background and everything is there. There are a couple of just um, like wow keep it up cards and thank you cards. But I'm going to go up here because the type of card I want to do is this one right here. So I want to design a landscape card. Once I click on that, it's going to take me into the editor. And you're going to notice that there's a photo that I can put right here. And right here on the left hand side, it says upload. So I'm going to click on upload. And then I'm gonna click in this box and it's gonna bring me to my computer. And I, this is the folder that I wanna be in and um, should be right at the very top. Um, I'm gonna put the picture of my new car on the front and say done. And then all I do is drag and drop it over. Now there's a red explanation point. That means that they aren't real happy with the quality, but my experience is that if it looks good on the screen and it does here, that it will print just fine. But I'm actually gonna hit transform and I'm gonna grab this top corner and I'm gonna make it just a, sm a bit smaller and move it around. So you can see I can completely move it around and then I'm gonna come over here on the left and I'm gonna hit text. And then I'm gonna say, add an empty text box. And then I'm gonna pull this down and I'm gonna say, thanks for your help. Now I want it much bigger than that. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna make it probably 28, and I want it a bolder. So I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna pick like this one, Art Chivo or however you say that, black. And so it's nice and bold. And actually, I think I'm gonna make it 36. And then you'll notice that it goes off the bottom because the text box isn't big enough. And so now, see the red, the pink line when I get to the middle, that tells you that it's centered on the card. Um, now I'm gonna go to the inside and actually on the inside top, I'm gonna go to photo and I'm gonna say upload because I actually went and grabbed the peak Kia, which is where I bought my vehicle. I grab their logo or an image that was out on um, Google, um, out on the internet. And I'm gonna drag and drop that over because I wanna show them the capability of what the system can do for them. Because I actually have an appointment with them to talk to them about the system. And I'm going to add another uh, text box. And I'm going to come down here and put awesome customer service. And again, I'm going to change it to the nice bold. And I'm going to change it to 24. And I'm going to expand 
the text box. Now, I like to take my text box all the way from the right to the left because then it shows up as centered. You can do it however you want. It's just what I like to do. And then I'm gonna go to the bottom and now there's already a text box here. And then I'm gonna um, put hi, Ben just wanted to say thanks to your staff for a very smooth buying experience. Love my Kia. Keep up the great work. And then I actually am going to change this to bigger because that's a little small. And I don't like to use the open. I, I like to use something that looks more handwritten. Um, I tend to like centered. Um, my husband does not. So it just depends on your preference. Now, when you're editing, most people want to go right up here and click in this blue box, but you're actually doing your editing down here in the text box. So I use the arrows to get to where I want in the text. And I'm going to hit a return because I want to say love my Kia Sportage on a separate line. So um, then what I'm going to do is we've actually put our signature in, and let's see if it's a recent one, nope, um, import from another project. You can go back to some old projects and you'll notice that we've got our signature. And so I did that as a graphic and I made it a PNG. You can also use a GIF, a, um, a GIF, G-I-F, and that will be a transparent so that if I were to add, come down here and add a background color, let's say I wanted to add blue to the background, you'll notice that it doesn't put a white box around it. But I'm actually going to hit none. I just wanted to show you that capability. And now I'm going to go to the back of the card. And then I'm going to go to layout because I want a picture. Actually, I'm going to do picture and text. And then I'm going to click on the photo and come over here to the top. And I'm going to put our logo. And you'll notice that I need to transform this because it doesn't <coughs> it didn't fit <coughs> because it was too big, but you can grab any of these corners and change the size and play with it. You can grab these side corners and make it smaller that way. So there's lots of flexibility with the system for the size of your images. And again, there's the center. And um, I'm going to add, whoops, I didn't want a photo, I want text. And then I always put our information. I know that it's our address is down below. Whoops, helps if I can type today. But it doesn't put our website, so I always put our website. And it doesn't have our phone number down below, so I always put our phone number, our business phone number, and again, I want this bold, and I'm going to move this down a little, and I actually want it centered below the relationship optimized income only because actually you want to know what I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go back because there's another 
<clears throat> me, let me find the one that I really want because that's not. There we go. I want this one. Um, that's the one I use to help you retain customers and generate referrals. And now this one can go over and it looks fine then. So now I've got the back of the card the way I want it. <clears throat> now this has taken me all of, you know, maybe five, ten minutes, but I've also gone through and showed you if I was just doing it and not stepping you through it. Um, I would have had this done a lot faster. And then I'm going to say add to cart. And yes, I want to add it to the cart. You could have previewed it if you wanted to. And now I'm going to add a project. <clears throat> oh, no, sorry. Start a new project. <clears throat> and I'm going to add a coffee mug because I happen to know that they send coffee mugs right now that just say Peak Kia. So I'm gonna click on <clears throat> the coffee mug and I'm gonna say start from scratch again. And I'm gonna create my own. And then I'm gonna say photo and upload. And I'm gonna, oh, you wanna know what? It's, it's in the recent. Sorry, I just put it in the card. So recent upload, so you're gonna find, there it is. So I wanna put Peak Kia. Maybe not quite. And <clears throat> then I'm going to put a text box and again I'm going to say awesome customer service award and I'm going to make it bold again. Mm, there we go. And I'm gonna make this just a little bit smaller cause I actually wanna put his picture and put his name. So I'm gonna go to photo and upload and I'm gonna grab Ben's. So that grant was the salesman, but here's Ben who is the sales manager. And most likely I'm gonna do one for the sales guy too. So I'm gonna put, and then I'm gonna put text and make this smaller. And see at the lines where it, you can see that the text is centered. Um, so it's lined up. So I did that and then I'm gonna put Ben O. H, hold on, I gotta, it's a weird O-H-M-A-N, so O-H-M-A-N. <clears throat> and I'm gonna click off, and now if I hit preview, this is what I see. Now, that's a little high, so I'm actually gonna edit it, and I'm gonna bring all of this down some. Um, so I'm going to hit transform because I don't like that it's floating, that the words are so high off the bottom of the mug. So that's the nice thing about doing the preview is you actually get to see the product. And so I'm going to preview it again and I like that much better. So I'm going to say add to cart. <clears throat> And now I've got a mug and a card ready to go. And you can see I am on the gold package. So I get the greeting card for 50 cents and I get that photo mug, a customized photo mug for only $10.99. If you are um, on the system currently and you are not getting that best pricing, please reach out 
to whoever invited you to Banner Season, whoever your sponsor was, and get with them and learn about the February promotion going on right now for the gold. I'm going to hit select recipients. And then I'm going to add a new one because I don't have Ben in here. So I'm going to put Ben, O-H-M-A-N. And I'm going to come down here to the street address. And let's see, about us. I think it gives me their mailing address. Yep, right there. So I'm just going to copy. And then I'm going to paste it. And see, it automatically prompts me. I love banner season because it finds the address. I hit Colorado Springs, Colorado. And you'll notice it fills in the zip and everything for me. I don't have his birthday currently, so all I'm going to do is hit save. And now, come on, bring it up. Thank you. And then I'm going to search for Ben. <clears throat> and I click on it, and then I go to the bottom. And I hit checkout. And the internet is slow today. <clears throat> but now I've got the card and the photo mug. You'll see the postage is $8.13. That's because of the weight of the coffee mug. And I hit place order. And tomorrow, so within 24 hours, business days. So if you send on Friday, it won't go out till Monday. But it will go out the very next business day in the morning to Ben and the, the staff there at the dealership. So that's how easy it is to send a personalized card and a gift. And it's extremely powerful to send personalized gifts to your clients or prospective clients to make a huge impression. And so my challenge, before I open up the line for other questions, my challenge to all of you today is to go send somebody a coffee mug. It's $10.99. Um, I know in Canada, the shipping's a little more. I'm, anybody who's not in Canada, I challenge you to go send a coffee mug. If you're in Canada, go pick a different gift and send it out and go personalize it. Um, and let's see how many gifts we can send today um, because I know the impact that sending gifts um, has. Um, I have gotten so many um, comments and people will post on Facebook. I get, I get free advertising because when I send a coffee mug like that, 90% of the time, I won't say 100, 90% of the time, they post it on Facebook and say, oh my God, look what I got in the mail today. It's the best kind of advertising you can ever get when somebody does word of mouth advertising like that on social media of all places. So with that, I am going to open it up. Let me unmute everybody. If you are in a noisy place, if you would just do me a favor and, um, <clears throat> and mute yourself so that there isn't background noise, I'd appreciate it. But I'm going to open it up now for any questions you might have. Um, I have a question. Yes, Jamie. Is it possible to set up templates for your, the back of your cards? Um, so the only template right now, there are two ways to get around that. One, when you're doing text to mailbox, there is a standard back when you're doing a card, not a campaign. And that is under, <clears throat> um, oh, over here, sorry, over under the face on the right in my profile. But this is when you're doing it from your phone and it's just a card. Um, with a, you can put a picture on the front. The other way to do it is to use Canva. 
I have it done now. You can use Canva or a graphic program. Let me see who's who I've got that's being that's in all the background. Um, you can use Canva or some other graphic program so that all of your information is in a single image. So like with Canva, if I go to Canva, um, you'll see that the stuff that I have been putting out um, on Facebook when we have a new person, these are already pre-designed. That could be the back of my card and I would just save it as a complete image and I would put it on the back of the card as a single image. So I'd use the whole back of the card. So that's the way currently um, to get around having to rebuild it every time you build the card. But the beauty of the system is once you have built a card or a gift, um, you will see it right here. There's the mug and there's the card. So here's welcome to banner season. This has already got my back on it. It's already got the message in it. So it's like having a template and I could just hit add to card. <coughs> and I use the insert name feature so that I can reuse a card over and over again. Does that help? Yes, thank you. Okay. Any other questions? No more questions? Well, yeah, I have a, you don't have I have any a, questions? I have a question that's got nothing to do with what you did today. <laughs> so, that's fine. That's okay. fine. So if um, um, I'm in real estate. Okay. And if I wanted to set up a, um, like I have a farm area that's got 250 homes in it. Yep. And I want to do postcards, like regular, you know, I'm part of the, yep. I'm in whatever level gets free postcards. Yes. Where do I set those up? Or how do I set that up? Or how do I indicate that it's part of that? <laughs> I don't know which ones to use. So you can use anything. Any of the postcards you can use. What I would recommend um, is that, so when you're farming, are you going to send like that there's a house for sale in that neighborhood? So you know, it's sure. It's going to be more um, probably informative as opposed to that there's a home for sale in that neighborhood. Um, so it's, average. It's neighborhood I live in. So like the average selling price or yeah. that is that what you're Things talking like that. about? So what I would do is I would start a new project and I would build those postcards that you want to send out. And then if you want it to be a drip campaign that there's one that goes out every month, you'd build the 12 and then you'd go up here to main menu and campaign builder. And then you would create a new campaign. And you will notice that you can set a drip, a birthday or an anniversary. And so you would call this real estate, um, farming, here, my zip code is 80923. So let's just say it's 80923. I hit create a campaign. And now I can give the very first thing. So this would be um, first mailing or whatever you want to call it, month one. And you'd say this goes out immediately. And then you'd say add a project and you'd pick that postcard. So if I add a project and I'll just, um, let me just pick something and I'll delete it later. But let's say that was the postcard. And then you come down here and you'll see save shipment. And then you can come um, up here and um, edit. <clears throat> And then you can add, um, hold on, because my thing keeps getting in the way. Um, oh, where is it? Hold on, because I'm, so I'm going to go back to the real estate farming. And then 
All right, Kathy, help me because it was here. Oh, add a shipment. I'm like, it's right there somewhere. So then I'm adding a second shipment and this would be second postcard or second mailing. And this one, we're gonna say go one month after the first one. Or you can pick the date. Yep, or you can pick the date. And then I would add another project and I'm gonna pick another card and it doesn't matter which one it is. And then I'm gonna say save shipment. And then I'm gonna say add another one. And you'll see that this one will be third and it'll go two months. Okay. Um, and then add a project and I'm just gonna scroll and pick another, another card. So I always tell people um, when they're creating their campaigns, the first thing they want to do is create their cards and their projects. Right. And have them saved. And then yep. they're ready to go. Yeah. And that's why I said go to, to go to create all those postcards first. Then once all 12 are created, if that's what you're going to do every month or six, whatever it is, then you can just keep adding them like I just did. And now I've got a first mailing that goes out immediate. The second is 30 days later and the third one is 60 days. You know, it's actually, I should have said 30 days after previous drop because it's going to go after the, the second shipment. Because right now it'll go at one immediate one month and then four months or three months actually because i'm doing it 60 days after the last gotcha i see what you're saying does that make sense you would do them all at 30 days after a previous drop if yeah. you were going to do it monthly yep so i'm just going to delete all these because i don't i don't uh, brenda yep for jamie's benefit uh could you uh show us uh, where to name the project once you say yes this. yes thank you for asking that and I'm going to go here and I'm going to delete this campaign because I don't need it but <clears throat> so I love that thank you for asking that question because you'll notice under project name there's names the two projects I just did the card I can come over here to options and I can say rename and this is going to be peak Kia, thank you. And then I update it and now you'll see in a second that it'll say peak Kia. And then this one I'm gonna rename and say peak Kia mug. So you could call them postcard one, two, three, four, five, you know, and I would name them Farming 80923 or whatever your zip code is, postcard one, postcard two. But the other nice thing is then over here, if you, um, if you need it farming, which none of them will come up, but I have thank you. So if I type thank you in the search, the only thing that comes up is thank yous. Anything that I put thank you in. So when you get to have lots of projects like I do, because if I delete, Thank you. You're going to see that I have 224, or, yeah, 224 <laughs> projects. Well, that's a lot of pages to scroll through to find what I'm looking for. Um, and some of them you can see are still untitled, but the majority of my projects have a title. Um, I learned that not at the very beginning it took us a while and that's why there's still some untitled projects so i recommend if you are new to banner season or even if you're not start doing it now because as you get to lots of projects um you will want to have that the other thing is if if you have a project like this one that you would never ever send again because it's so unique you can actually delete the project now I can't delete it right now because it's going out and so it won't let me delete it. Um, <clears throat> but once you've sent it and it's gone out, you can go through these and, um, and delete them so that you can clean up your saved projects. 
Any other questions? I see we're a little over a half an hour. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for being on, everyone. Again, we do these every single Wednesday at 2 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Mountain, 4 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Eastern time frame um, every single Wednesday. If you have things that you want trained on, please reach out and connect with me on Facebook and send me a message or put it in the wow makers and tag me in the wow makers um, banner season Facebook page and say, Lo would love to have training on X, Y, or Z. And I will do my best to um, put that training together for you. But with that, Thanks everyone for joining in and I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday on Wow Makers System Training. Thanks Brenda for your time. Thank you. Thank Great you. job. Thank you. Thanks Brenda. Brenda.